Welcome to Play In School TV. I'm Rich Prado. In today's episode, we're going to talk about reputation. So you probably heard it was on the news. It was on the national news, not just the news that a college baseball fan would watch. On the national news, earlier this year, a junior college head coach really, really stepped in it. An email that he wrote a high school student, high school ball player, went viral. And basically his response was that he no longer recruits players from a certain state for reasons that he should not have gone into. Let me tell you, he should not have vocalized his thoughts. He should not have sent it. I'll link to it, you can look at it. That's not really, the specifics of that story are not what today's um, video is about. What I do wanna talk about is reputation. And, and that story really is a story about reputation, okay? That coach had obvious negative run-ins with some kid somewhere along the lines, and that tainted his view about other kids from a similar circumstance. Most kids understand that their behavior reflects on not only them, the kid, but on their family, and they may, may even realize that it reflects on their team. But what many kids fail to understand is that their behavior, the way they act, the way they play, really can impact players that come behind them. See, your behavior leaves a lasting impression. And for good or bad, coaches will begin to stereotype players that they see that are like you. They're gonna think about kids in the future based off kids that they knew from the past. That is reputation. So like that coach that got fired, I know coaches that avoid certain high schools, they avoid certain regions or towns. I don't know anybody that avoids an entire state, but the reality is that it happens. That may not be fair or right, but listen, life is not fair. The reverse happens too. All of a sudden, a college coach gets a couple kids from either the same high school or same town, and those kids are wonderful, hardworking, you know, they're the best player on the team or the, or the dirtiest guy. They're gonna go the extra mile, that type of thing. Guess what? That school, that town, that region now has a positive reputation. So remember as you're progressing in your baseball career and your life, that there are a lot of reputations at stake beyond your own, beyond your family beyond just the team that you're currently on. Your behavior, the way you approach life in the game, will have a lasting impact on everybody that's coming behind you. So please, do your best to help the kids two, three, five, ten years behind you by being the guy who's setting the tone for your little dot on the map today. I'm Rich Prado. Follow me at Play in School. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you on a field real soon.